Okay, this is Kev, and this is Black Man Being Brutally Honest, the best show on YouTube and in Black YouTube. And anyone can come forward and refute that charge if they like. <laughs> oh, it's true. Well, anyway, it's true. I'm gonna give you a trigger warning for this video right here. If you get like just offended by anything like anywhere from Dave Chappelle's Netflix special Sticks and Stones uh, to mere oxygen you know oxygen the stuff that we need to breathe because one day I know you're gonna find a way oh my god in my feelings oh. but anyway I don't know I just want to reflect on a time I don't know back around the time that show that used to come on Fox called New York Undercover. It used to come on after, I think it was in, in Living Color. It was like a Martin Living Single and Living Color Block. Well, that's at least what it was from my neck of the woods. But it was New York Undercover at 9 o'clock. I think it was 9 o'clock every Thursday. Uh, uh, well, anyway, yeah, this guy right here, Malik Yoba, and I ain't gonna lie to you, I remember when black women used to love this man, ooh, he's so fine, ooh, I want me some of that Yoba, that's what I used to hear, and this is why I'm laughing right now. <laughs> Your aim is off once again. <laughs> this guy right here, Malik Yoba, has publicly stated that he has an attraction to trans women. Now, for those of you out there who partake in such a lifestyle, it's your business. Do what you want to do. It has nothing to do with me. Um, just, just, just don't, don't take it as such. This ain't about you right now. <laughs> I mean, kind of, but you know. <laughs> but I'm just saying, you know, as as I as I've seen as of late, there's a lot of criticism for men who speak their minds, kind of say what they want to say. And most importantly, someone in particular who is brutally honest with everyone. Let me tell you something. Until you can stop having little stupid slip-ups like this. <laughs> and I am nothing short of a muse right now. <laughs> then you need to shut the fuck up. I mean, no, no, I'm not, I'm not antagonizing. There, there's, there's always a reason. It's not an isolated incident, or well, at least not this time. But it's just a ten-year thing, and it's about time somebody stepped up and said something. It's a lot of dumbass shit going on, <laughs> and, 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 and we're all a part of it. We all are. But if we're going to solve the problem, we have to call these things out one incident at a time. And for right now, the eyeball is on you. Are you really good judges of character? Our um, quote fingers, newbie and queens. <laughs> Malik Yoba. Now, 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 I'm not hating, you know. I applaud Malik Yoga for taking a stand and letting the world know who he was, having the courage. Remember, he did say attracted. Doesn't mean he actually touched uh, the women that he described. And you know, technically in 2019, he still loves black women, even though he did not specify a race when he said that, just to point that out for you. So, I mean, like, I don't want it to feel like a thrice rejection. I mean... <laughs> What I'm saying is, seriously, is you're going to have to 
think about what you say before you say it from now on because you know you call you out here calling these brothers non-select and you're not selecting them obviously and you know that that's just life some people just don't get selected and that is true the select non-select narrative is just a dumbass narrative to me anyway so feel free to do whatever you need to do to get away from me if you don't agree with that but um, here's what i'm saying Whenever you come across a guy that you call non-select that has a different opinion from you, guess what you do? You call him a homophobic slur. And I'm not talking about the F word. I'm talking about, you know, they love these kinds of women. They, they, they love it from other guys. Yeah, all of that. And it's not being called out by that community. I mean, to a degree, but, you know, you would think it would just be hetero black men saying that stuff. And, I, I mean, yes, sometimes hetero black men do say, you know, use, you know, blatantly homophobic slurs. But this is used as a point of attack to those guys whenever having debate or discussion. And it's a very popular thing to do from what I see. But it's bullshit. That's all I'm saying. If you're not smart, you're not smart. Y'all ain't got to do this. Or you're going to see more guys like Malik Ilva, whom y'all used to love, by the way. No, I don't feel any sympathy for any of you out there that might have had a crush on Malik Ilva. I know, I know you see it as negative because you used it as a point of attack in everyday conversation on social media. Period. It is used to troll black men that to points of view you don't agree with. <laughs> and you know what? Those, those guys on YouTube that always do that shit, that little select and non-select bullshit that y'all like to do. Uh, let me ask you a question. It, it, it's like, if you are a select guy and Malik Yoba was seen as a select guy, well, you get the picture. <laughs> love who you love, man. <laughs> I'm going to be loving my natural born woman wife. I mean, you know, that's just me. That's my right to express that. <laughs> yeah, that makes me select in a way, but not in that way. <laughs> Watch what the fuck you say out here, basically. That's all I'm trying to say. Period. Point blank, in a goddamn discussion. No choice, no negotiation. Not up for debate. Please. Better take a look at your sales first. <laughs> a lot of you were taking a look at Malik Yoba. <laughs> All right, this is Kev. This is Black Men Being Brutally Honest. I am one of the habitual line steppers, and yeah, I do make a habit to step it over the line. <laughs> and I mean, say what you want to say. You got freedom range, and you got freedom of speech. You no. Know, hey, whatever. All right, I'm out. Like, share, subscribe, and Kev, we trust goodbye.